Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jim again. I'm going to be showing you a nice little easy tutorial on how to get EMB series for, um, what is it, I almost just said Minecraft, GTA for, for 1.0.7.0. Yes ladies and gentlemen, I have not seen many tutorials on how to do this, I've only seen one that I actually do like, but I'm going to be t giving you one that I think is a very good tutorial and will give you very good graphics for your game at running at least 30 frames per second. So, Let's just dive right into it. We're going to need this EMB Volga Drop Set version 1 2.1c. I got this from when I was looking at this video, excuse this, um, from this guy. His name is Volga Drop. Please subscribe to him. He makes an amazing um, EMB series. Good job, buddy. I am giving all the credit to you. I did absolutely nothing. Um, I com did not do anything at all to this. EMB mod, I did nothing. So, <laughs> okay, just making sure of that. Um, but yep, this is him. Be sure to check out his channel. He's got some good shit. Um, anyway, so this works only on 1.0.7.0. The download is right here. First, you want to download the patch if you're still on the old one. So, I've already updated my game, I think. Um, so, yeah, I do. And then you're going to want to download the EMB graphic mod. So, I'm going to download it real quick. So it's right here on GTA4Mods.com. Um, check out this place. They've got every piece of shit you could imagine for GTA4. They've got everything. Go check out their channel. I mean, not channel, excuse me. Their, um, their website, guys. They've got every single mod you can think of. So I'm just going to click download real quick. It's going to open it up. Make sure to have WinRAR to extract it. It's going to download for me. And then we're just going to open it up real quick. Hold on. Let's minimize this, close that out, um, get rid of this, it's closing out a million windows I have open, and now we've got this, we've got the readme, which um, you really don't need, um, so yeah, this really, you don't really need any of that, the, because it's very plain simple, all you have to do is extract it, so I've already extracted it to my desktop and it gives you every single one of these goddamn files and you're probably like where the fuck am I supposed to put these this is where you put them you go to um, your computer you go to your hard drive and depending on where it is mine's in program files 86 and then you just go down to Rockstar Games look for Rockstar Games open it up go to your folder for Grand Theft Auto 4 and then you'll, you'll have all your your shit so I'm just gonna install this real quick uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste everything. So let's just take this, click copy, and then we're gonna click paste right into the folder. And then it's gonna ask you if you want to replace a bunch of bullshit. Let's just wait. So just I'm just gonna click yes for the same thing. Just keep copy, co yeah, copy and replace. Um, yes, merge, do all that good crap. Let it do what do its thing. And one thing I forgot to mention, back up your game, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to do it or else it won't work. I'm sorry I didn't mean to show you that. But um, back up your game. Because if you don't, say you screw up. Say this doesn't work with your computer. Say just you did something wrong. GTA, the problem with it, you'll have to uninstall, you'll have to delete, because once you reinstall the game, say you uninstall and reinstall, those files are still going to be there. You have to, like, you have to literally re-download the game, say you got it from Steam or something. You have to literally re-download the whole game, and then do it again. It's a pain in the ass, I know, it just back up your game, it only takes about three minutes to back up the whole entire thing. So, my specs on my computer, I have an i7 processor with an ATI. 5700 graphics card running Windows 7 HP Pavilion Elite HPE. So I've got a pretty damn good computer. I've got 8 gigs of RAM. Um, it's pretty nice. So it runs this pretty well. So um, now that it's copied, um, you're probably thinking, well, the game's going to look really, really good right now. So why not make it even better? So I'm just going to show you something real quick. It's really, really awesome. All right, just ladies hold and gentlemen. Sorry, I was right back. I'm back. just right back right now. So last thing I want to show you is road textures. Now, Fonius5, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. He made a download link right here. This Fonius5, that's his name. He's the one who created this, not me. I take no credit for this. He should. He takes all credit for the creation of this modification to the game. Okay, just making that clear. But um, he, this is his um, this is his you know 
his stuff. It is his um, mod. So I'm going to show you how to install it real quick. So what you got to do is once you download it, I'll give you the link in the description. You download it and you'll get GTA 4 Road Textures by Phonius. You download that and then the readme is right here. All you have to do is just place it into the current given area. And you're done right there. Um, and there it is. There's a file right here. Uh, I'm going to do it real quick. So I'm going to go to my GTA folder. Um, I'm going to go to... I'm gonna go to um, common. Um, oh wait, now I'm going the wrong way. So I'm sorry. You go to PC. Then you're gonna want to go to. I'm just gonna make sure I'm doing this right, because sometimes I derp around and forget what I'm doing. So you go to PC data CD images. I was right. So I was just making sure I'm not derping. Um, let's see. PC data and CD images. It's been a long time since I've installed this. And here's the the file right here. So what you're going to want to do is the same thing as last time. Just copy it, paste it, copy and replace. End of story. Done. Finito. Canned. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you install it. Um, I don't suggest installing too many mods because, of course, GTA 4 runs on a triple buffer. Maybe you guys didn't know that. So the game does not run very um, fluently, it's a very unless you turn the graphics settings all the way down, you're not going to get 60 frames. Even if you have the best goddamn computer in the world, or you have no traffic on at all, and the whole world's loaded. So I'm going to start up the game real quick. Hopefully, I don't lag like a Puerto Rican. Um, so yeah, I've got a million things running in the background. Let me just pause my rendering. So I'm just going to pause that, so I can just slow down. So it's it hasn't even opened yet. That's how much RAM is given to Adobe After Effects. So we're just going to play offline and we are going to wait for the game to start up. Now, I just need to hold up ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. And now my game is being freaking retarded. Now I'm running a little lower. Look at how elegant the fucking game looks like. Alright. See, a lot of the screenshots can be laggy or too bright, but that's okay ladies and gentlemen. Um. You're in it for the gameplay, not for the screenshots of the game, hopefully. Otherwise, you're you're stupid. Let's just pick out a nice car here that we can terrorize people with. That was pretty G. Let's take the Blista Compact, probably the best game in the game. Best car in the game. Uh, no, you cannot take the car. This is going to be fun. Die? Go suck a cock. Alright, so I'm just screwing around here. Just trying to demonstrate the capacity of the game now. Um, I mean, it's using a lot of motherfucking RAM. So, for this, I mean, that does happen if you can see the screen, the um, sky. That will happen if you're it's down too low. So I think if I change the graphics settings, but I'm not going to do it right now. Every now and then, I mean, it's... F oh, wow, what are you doing? Any Every now and then, there's some glitches. You can't stop them. It's, it's a freaking, it's a mod. Mods aren't perfect. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jim from the Gaming Drive. I um, hope you've enjoyed this EMB tutorial and, um, what is it, road texture tutorial. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, and favorite. It has been a joy making this video, and I hope to um, see you in, we'll see you as my subscribers in future videos to come. The more subscribers, the more views, the more content is put out that you will like. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Um, this has been Jim from the Gaming Drive, and please have a nice day. Bye-bye.